It's cruise news time, and I'm gonna tell you the story of Alex and Alicia, who got charged $98,000 for dinner on Royal Caribbean. Plus, Carnival, they're raising prices on room service, and it's quite frankly making a lot of people a little bit upset. And Disney Cruise Line is out with new news for a brand new ship. Plus, we talk Virgin Voyages. Let's roll the intro. Welcome to the Midships Channel. I'm your Captain Corey, and thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. And welcome back to Central Florida for the next, like, three or four days. I'm leaving on my next cruise this Thursday aboard Margaritaville at sea. It's a two-night, three-day. Gets back on Saturday, and I'm going to hop on the Brightline train and go down to Miami from West Palm Beach, and then hop on, well, the ship that looks like that again this Saturday, MSC Seashore. Is it Seashore? I think it's the Seashore I'm on on Saturday. I'll have to look again. Regardless, I have two cruises coming up this week, but we've got cruise news to get into. Let's start out with this story coming from the Symphony of the Seas. That's one of those big Oasis-class vessels for Royal Caribbean. There was a couple on board. Their names, Alex and Alicia. I think I'm pronouncing those correctly. And they were sailing with the dining package, actually. So they went to a restaurant on board called Jamie's Italian. Yeah, it's a pretty good place. I've eaten there a couple times myself. Really enjoy the cuisine. Well, the thing is, the couple was sailing with the unlimited dining plan. So they expected to walk out of Jamie's, obviously without a huge bill. And they loved their dinner at Jamie's Italian. They even commented on the wonderful desserts they had. Well, fast forward to the following day and check this out. This is the bill that they had slipped under their door from that dinner at Jamie's Italian. You can see $98,000 for their dinner at Jamie's Italian. Now, I don't know how many people you'd have to feed or to bring to that restaurant to get to that kind of price level, but obviously something was wrong. So they did what any couple would do and asked about it and fortunately Royal Caribbean admitted their mistake pretty quickly and took it off their bill. So the biggest issue for this couple is the massive authorizations that would have been put on their credit cards on file with the cruise line. Their cards started declining when they were off the ship unexpectedly. So this was sort of a major inconvenience most likely for this couple, especially if they found themselves away from the ship without money to get back, relying on this card. Yeah, never leave the ship without cash. I did that on this past cruise. Not a wise decision. Anyways, all's well that ends well. The charges are taken off and we've all been able to laugh a little bit at this $100,000 dinner on Royal Caribbean. As cruising continues to return to normal, Virgin Voyages is looking to catch up with the rest of the major cruise lines here in the US and around the world in removing that pesky vaccine requirement to come on board their ships. They have officially announced that, I'm gonna grab the dates here because I don't wanna get them wrong, starting September 18th on board Valiant Lady and September 21st on board Scarlet Lady, guests will no longer be required to provide proof of vaccination to cruise with Virgin Voyages. Just a couple of days away now, everybody's welcome on Virgin Voyages, just like pretty much every other cruise line. So it seems like every day things are getting more and more expensive on all of our cruises, and that includes the room service on Carnival Cruise Line. And I'm gonna tell you about it just as soon as I remind you that the merchandise in the midships Amazon store, like this home on a cruise ship shirt, it has not gotten more expensive at all. Still remains under 20 bucks. There's a link in the description below to view everything I take with me on every cruise, plus some amazing t-shirts I've designed. It's the best way to support this channel. Link below. Carnival Cruise Line's brand ambassador is once again getting the Carnival faithful a little bit possibly riled up online as he just recently posted and said that Carnival is now going to be not only raising prices for onboard Wi-Fi, which they should be lowering prices on because it's absolute crap. Carnival, fix it, get Starlink or make it free because it's ridiculous. No, we're talking room service, which is something that I love. Well, Carnival say they've been looking into room service orders that have happened since the restart of cruising, and they've noticed something that they don't like, and that's a lot of unfinished meals and wasted food. And I don't like that either. I've started to notice that as well, not just on Carnival ships. I just think that's a cruise thing. A lot of people 
tend to be a little bit more cavalier with ordering things and dipping in on the buffets. I almost liked it better when we were served on the buffet by the crew. I think that would probably be the pinnacle of saving money, but no, Carnival instead is going to be charging you more for your next room service order. There's going to be some small upcharges. Oh, and like I said, the Wi-Fi is gonna get more expensive too. This is all scheduled to take place in early October. So book ahead now while the prices are still low. But as Carnival is taking away some free and inexpensive options from the room service menu, they're giving something back and that's for your kitties because Sam I Am is bringing green eggs and ham with Dr. Seuss. I don't know, I can't rhyme. Dr. Seuss is coming back October the 1st, that big kids Dr. Seuss green eggs and ham breakfast that they do. Yeah, if that's something you're interested in, that's back in like three weeks. There you go. Well, Disney lovers, you probably already know this, but if you're not, or you're just out of the loop, kind of like I was without internet on the Carnival Valor, you might not know that Disney has finally named their next new cruise ship that we expect to be out sometime in 2024. It was named at the D23 Disney Expo. I guess there's a lot of Disney stuff going on this month. I'm not really the biggest Disney guy, but I do like some Disney stuff too. Anyways, let's name drop this brand new ship. She's gonna be called the Disney Treasure. Also in this presentation, we got some renderings of Disney's newest private island here. Take a look here. You can see what we've got to work with coming up in the future. And this destination is going to be named Lighthouse Point in the Bahamas. So you can see here, we've got a pretty vibrant covered pavilion. It looks like there's some people sitting and eating. And then the pavilion theme continues, but it looks like also we have some water features here, some some beach access and a, a whole bunch of little buildings to explore here at this brand new Lighthouse Point. So if you made it this far into today's episode, thank you so very much. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the notification bell on and the like button pressed. I like to hear that you like this kind of content. Thanks for stopping by the channel today. And until tomorrow, we'll see you on the midships. Have you ever cruised on board the Margaritaville at Sea Paradise or would you consider it? It's like a really, really short cruise. I can't believe it's going to be like two nights. Let me know your thoughts on Margaritaville. Should I even bother to vlog it? I'm curious. See you tomorrow.